Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel. This is a latency or response time test for the Radio Master MT12 transmitter, Express LRS or ELRS version. I decided to do this video first before the full review because I wanted to test how fast it actually is. I will also show you how to get the best response time out of this transmitter. The testing method is the same. I filmed it at 240 frames per second and then checked the footage. Each frame is 4.16 millisecond. I still use this camera because it doesn't interpolate the frame to get higher frame count. This makes the result accurate and consistent with my previous tests, so we can have a comparison. But before I can test it, I'm gonna show you how to make it as fast as possible. Remember, this is the Express LRS version. The multi-protocol 4-in-1 version has a different module inside, and the latency depends on the protocol you use. So let's begin. Press the Sys key, and press the roller to enter the Express LRS setting. Out of the box, the packet rate is somehow set at 50Hz, which is downright atrocious in terms of speed. It is slow to connect to the receiver, and it is slow to respond. Set it to F1000. Use the roller to scroll down and press exit. Now you'll have to change the PWM frequency on the receiver to match the servo. You can do this with anything that can connect to Wi-Fi. I'm doing it with my tablet. Make sure to turn off the transmitter first, so the receiver doesn't connect to it. Then power on the receiver and wait for one minute to activate the Wi-Fi. You'll see the light blinking rapidly like this. Now connect to the Express LRS RX hotspot. The password is Express LRS, all lowercase in one word. Open a browser and connect to 10.0.0.1. It will open the web UI that you can configure the receiver. Go to model and change the channel output to match your servo. It is usually 333 Hz for digital servo. Click save, and it is done. Now we can properly test the latency. Remember, each frame is 4.16 milliseconds, so anything within that window is going to look the same. As it turns out, it appears to have the same response time as the Noble NB4, or within the 4 millisecond margin from the NB4. This is incredible. I have done some test drives, and it feels the same too. So now we have another very fast transmitter at a lower price. And that's it for this video. I plan to do another tutorial to show you how to set up the output channels. APA Adorate and ATL. Uh, before doing the full review, I want to do this because the HTX is not so straightforward when it comes to setting like this. Also, some of you may have got this transmitter already and still struggle to set it up. Well, I was too before I figured it out. Uh, so, another video might be a good idea. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see it. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.